What's it like racing over here? You know, the track? Second race or third race? Second time. Yeah. What's it like having your family around and just people you know? Around? Well, it's, it's a home track, but I'm still um, six plus hours from home, so yeah. there'll be some family that, that comes out. Um, the race tomorrow, but um, a lot of families kind of move away from from where you know, I was born and raised in California here. So it is a home race, but a lot of families kind of spread out since I lived here. It's what, recording, right? Yeah. What did you learn from last year that can help you this year? I mean, it's um, a completely different honestly, car, completely different layout. Really. Um, Okay, I'm lying. Uh, I'm lying. There's like one or two things, like how aggressive, how abrasive this track is. Uh, how the uh, there isn't many road courses where the pace falls off like it does here. Um, so in a sense, that is beneficial. But the way the car drives, all that kind of stuff, I don't know how much is going to translate from from the last car to this one. Were you tempted at all to run this truck race today? I mean, it, it is you know it could have gotten you some extra laps. A lot of Cup guys are running it. Yeah. Your teammate Austin Dillon being one of them. Yeah, it could have helped, but uh, again, the Cup car and the Xfinity, or the, the Cup car, Xfinity car, and, and the truck, they're all very different from the Cup car now. Um, so, uh, I mean, um, it's valuable track time, but, um, you know, you don't really learn anything about the, the, the Cup car. Um, but getting laps around here would be good for me. I've only got one race here. Talk to me about, you've been so close this season to get that first win. Uh, if you keep knocking on the door, I think there's some good tracks on you for coming up for you here. Do you feel like it's coming? Yeah, it is. Think, what makes you think that? I mean, the speed we have every single weekend, um, our consistency on pit road, the ability on the majority of the weekends to make good adjustments. Um, all the pieces are there. It's just better put them together. You know, I mean, every, maybe it may not be every single week that we have every single piece put together, but like the things that we hit on one week, um, you know, we, we're, hit, we're able to hit on everything. It's just a matter of doing it for an entire race um, and being able to hit it all in, in that race. It's to come down to. And we can do that. And just that thing on the off weekend, we miss a little bit here, miss a little bit there. Um, so we're capable of being good in all areas. So it's going to happen. How often did you ever come to Sonoma when you were still here? Never, never? Never? Yeah, the first time I saw it was last year. Oh, wow. That's a crazy thing. I lived, I mean, it was, I mean, again, six, seven hours away from home, so it wasn't like really close to driving distance and I was racing so much growing up on the weekends that, you know, as much as it would have been cool to come here for a, a race, you know, um, I, we were racing somewhere normally on the weekends, so we never came here. What other local tracks did you really do? <coughs> Thunder Hill or? Um, a lot of places up really far north, like uh, Solar Dollar Speedway, uh, Red Chico. Bluff, Chico, and um, Cycling, and um, Shasta Speedway, that's asphalt track, where that race there a lot. Um, there's a lot of tracks up in that area that we went to, we never really came. We, we only raced a few times south of, of Sacramento, and I can't remember the name of some of the tracks. So yeah, yeah, but not a lot of road course racing, a lot of no, old zero. Horses. It's all dirt, really, up until, it was all dirt. Um, no real course experience until I was in NASCAR. My third, third uh, asphalt race was my first NASCAR start, I think. So, um, yeah, I didn't have a lot of asphalt. So what have you done to really adjust to the road course style of racing? Just, you know, just putting in time and effort and energy. Um, just making the conscious effort to put time in the simulator, work on the craft of it, and just understand what it takes, what makes a good lap, what makes a good corner. Did you, ever, did you ever train with anyone, any specific driver? Yeah, uh, well, yeah, you know, working with Josh Wise, big help. Scott Speed's on board there. Um, working with my team, you know, I have, I have a lot of smart people from different backgrounds on my yeah. team. Some have experience in Australian Gate supercars, other have experience in other forms of road racing. Um, you know, just leaning on the simulator, working on it, making laps was a big help. We're going to take you to practice.